Hi. Um, um, so we're the Harwood team, and we're so excited to be here and share our work with you. I think I can speak for all of us, uh, but we're extremely proud of the work we've done, and we've learned so many things from all the great students we talked to. Today you'll hear from the members of our team and the stories of the amazing kids we talked to about their alternative learning. Um, in preparation for um, Act 77, Harwood um, was kind of a quick out of the gate, and um, this represents the work that students and faculty did um, to really talk about a shared vision of what student learning um, in the 21st century should look like. And you, it's, it's tough to see, but everything's kind of grounded in student and ownership. Um, and it really, you know, both over the different parts that people thought were important, such as student-centered learning, equity, those are the roots, that's what ground us in our work. Um, and then as you get up into the branches, you're going to hear about all the different flexible pathways that we had in place prior to X77, but now we have strengthened those pathways due to X77. So it was a real um, collaboration between students and staff that have grounded us um, in this work. Okay, um, and looking at the data we collected from high school students, we saw that only 7% of students felt like they understand quite a bit of flexible pathways. Um, that gave us a very clear direction to move in with our work, and it took us a little while to figure out what we actually wanted to do for our project, but we decided we really wanted to spread the word about flexible pathways. Um, <laughs> We want to do this because only 60% of Harvard students have um, little to no understanding of flexible pathways. We wanted to change that, so we decided to get the word out um, using videos um, and talking to students about their flexible pathways experiences. When we start, sometimes it feels like there's only one path to follow, which is often seen as attending high school for four years in classrooms, passing classes, and earning credits without never even leaving the building. But this is not the case. Um, there are so many different ways to access your education and learn in ways that are meaningful to you. <coughs> High school is now much more like a choose your own adventure story. One of the flexible pathways that students can take is job shadows. Job shadows are meant to help students um, test out jobs in a real life setting. These can either rule out possible jobs that they might find interesting, but Hopefully, it inspires them to pursue their interests and achieve more in school. Um, we interviewed Eric, a junior at Harwood, um, and he connected with our future planning teacher, Ellen Barings, and she helped him put together a couple job shadows that he found interesting and might want to do later in life. He shadowed an emergency vet and a surgeon, and he had a lot of fun doing those. And in the video that we'll have on our Instagram, um, he's very excited about his to job shadows. Um, so internships provide an opportunity to work within a career to learn more in-depth information about that field. At the same time, they have the potential to earn college credit and decide if the internship will continue into a career. Um, dual enrollment is a way that high school students can take up to two college courses for free through our voucher program um, at Harwood. And these are just a few of the colleges that offer dual enrollment courses at Harwood. There are a ton of students that use these vouchers because it's really cool that you can take just two classes for free. Um, so it's important to use those up in your junior and senior year. This is Noah Eckstein. While at Harwood, he took an online class called Geography of Race and Ethnicity in the U.S. He said it was really cool to be able to delve deeper into a topic that wasn't offered originally at Harwood. He also thought it was really important to be able to see what it was like to have a class with a college professor. Um, he says that this opportunity was key to broadening his interests and finding his path to college. This is Jasper. He's a junior at Harwood who is currently taking an online class called AP Politics and Government. He took advantage of this opportunity because he wanted to take an AP class in his junior year, but he couldn't fit it into his schedule. This flexible pathway helps Jasper to get a feel for the workload of an AP class in order to prepare for next year and college in a way that worked with his schedule. This is Jordy, who's also a junior at Harwood, who did an in independent study her, who, that consisted of her going um, 
to a summer ski training program and training for a couple of hours a day, and then every six hours of training, she wrote a page write-up. She was driven to do this by her, by her love of skiing, and she decided that since she trains her nor for Nordic every summer, she would um, put a little extra work into it and get school credit for it. Flexible Pathways helped Jordy gain a gym credit over the summer, which allowed her to find time for in her school day to take another um, elective and other classes that she was actually interested in instead of having to take a gym class. So this was another example of an independent study where a student was passionate um, about reading and literature, but also about art. And she did an independent study um, with one of our teachers, and it gave her an opportunity to read literature and then express what she knew um, about that literature through her art. At Harvard, students are given the opportunity to apply and enroll as college freshmen at certain colleges. Um, they take a full course load, which allows them to get a jump start on their college career, but they can also still graduate with their senior class in high school. Um, this allows them to enter college as a sophomore instead of a freshman. I think early college is really important for students to get a taste of what it's like before leaving home and having to be there completely on your own. This is Celia Lott, and she's a senior at Harwood. She's currently enrolled as a freshman at Norwich. She has a full course load, but will also be back in June to graduate with her senior class. She says that she's loved being at Norwich and has learned many really important lessons while she's been there, time management being one of the most important one of those lessons. She looks forward to finishing up her classes this week, traveling to Venice for a couple weeks, and then being back for graduation in June. So Harwood's, Harwood students access um, tech centers such as um, Barry Tech, Randolph, and other technical centers. Uh, students have access uh, automotive tech, plumbing and heating, and digital media and natural resources. So this is a clear example of students accessing at a tech center, clearly accessing something that they're passionate about, whether it is auto, auto mechanic or natural resources, which is outside being outside and working hands-on. Um, so we created an Instagram account um, with interviews with Harvard students who have experienced at least one fle flexible pathway. Um, and I know I follow them. Um, and we're only at 72 followers right now. And there's more than 17 of us here. So if we make it by 100 followers by the end of the day, that'd be awesome. <laughs> um, and also, for the next school year, this Petra Kucha will be um, presented at a school-wide assembly to inform all students about our work. Okay, so we're going to switch to our reflections at this point. So my name is Renee Bideau. I'm the Director of Student Management <coughs> at Harwood. And um, the reason that I chose to take this course is because um, my job doesn't give me a lot of opportunity to um, get to know students in a positive way. Um, and so this is a great opportunity for me to get to know these students at a very different level. I had the opportunity to see how strong and they are in their ability to persevere. Um, and so I have been so impressed with their ideas and their abilities and so it really taught me the ability of our students and how much they can do and want to do in our schools. Um, so I'm Eli Hammond, um, and my aha moment was, um, well, we're kind of in a, our own flexible pathway. Um, we can take this for dual enrollment at our school. Um, and so I, when we were creating this presentation and kind of the brainstorming on what we wanted to do at our school, I realized that um, you can dream as big as you want, um, but you have to be willing to put in the same amount of work. Um, a beautiful presentation doesn't make itself. So. Um, as long as your dreams are match your effort to um, achieve them, then why not? Um, I'm Wynn, and I'm a junior at Harwood. And after learning about all the flexible pathways that we have at school, um, 
I realized that I don't have to stay on the traditional path for high school and I'm not really loving it right now so I'd like to do something more exciting and something that interests me more next year so my aha moment was that I can do something different with my school career and I don't have to let it drive me and also I hope that other people can have that aha moment too and maybe I can help. <laughs> So I'm Brandon Reynolds from uh, Harwood, and I'm a junior, and my aha moment was I kind of didn't believe what a growth mindset was really until I saw it over the, all over the school building and kind of realized that it was actually something that needed, needed to be in mind always and also seeing, be, seeing all the f flexible pathways I'm, I could be able to use next year and kind of possibly putting it into my schedule because my it following my passion. I'm Abby, I'm also a junior at Harwood, and my aha moment in this class was just kind of realizing the potential that our school ha has to give us all these different options. Um, I didn't really realize that. And I also realized how I want to help other people understand how to make their schedule and their high school experience as enjoyable and enriching as um, they can. And so they can make a schedule that makes them love learning and passionate about the things they want to be passionate about in high school and after high school. And that's also something I want to make for myself. So this was a really good experience for that. My name is Isabel, I'm also a junior at Harwood, and I've always been a strong believer in flexible pathways. I think they're just key to learning for because everyone has different styles. So I really wanted to use this class to make that message clear to everyone in our school because I think a lot of kids, especially relating to our data, um, you could see that 60% of people didn't really know what it was. So I think it's so important for everyone in our school to have the opportunity at least to know that the flexible pathways are there. And, Hopefully, with these personal connections that we're making, these interviews, these videos, um, will help kids in our school utilize our flexible pathways more. Thank you. Um, so, if you guys could come up here, please. So, my aha moment, um, this is my third time in CSR class, so I kind of go back to the history of why this all started. And it just never ceases to amaze me that when we give students the opportunity to engage in meaningful work, that they are able to change our school system. And this group has shown persistence beyond any other team that I have worked with. We could have easily bailed, we did not, and they have seen this project through, and I can't be more proud of this team. So, thank you.